Okay, everyone, um, so we're back. Uh, if you clicked on this video, then you know that this is not a review. So I feel like I need to explain that a little bit. Um, I purchased Ohuhu markers because I've seen them, like YouTuber, art YouTubers that I watch buy them and they just look so nice. And I decided with staying home and not going out for any reason whatsoever, now is the perfect time to splurge on some art supplies. So I decided to purchase my very first pack of Ohuhu markers. Now the reason this is not a review is because I know nothing about markers. I've never used them, well, I, it's a lie. I have used them before, but like, when I was in high school and I was a young kiddo and I didn't know what I was doing and I kind of was like, I don't, I don't think this is for me. And then just went back to my color pencils. So this time I'm really set on like figuring out how to blend with them and stuff. And I feel like in order to give something a review, you, you have to be like intimately familiar with it and how it should work and know like it's pros and cons and I kind of don't know anything about markers so therefore do not feel qualified to review them. So in short this is a picture that I drew um, because I've been watching some anime lately and uh, they had like animal characters. They're my ohuhus. And then those are also some Copic markers that um, I had that are very old, like very old. I'm actually a little surprised that they work. But um, anyway, I've been watching a lot of anime and they had these animal characters, like people, but with like animal features. And so I drew this girl and she, in the reference photo that I was using, she had like a hat on. And then um, I was like, you know, but she'd be cooler with bunny ears. So then I added bunny ears onto her and I actually really like it. And then I kept, I tried to make her mouth look more like a rabbit, kind of like a muzzle, not like a real mouth, but eh, it kind of worked. Um, before I started coloring, I watched a total of one videos on how to blend marker. And it's about, it's about here where I realized I have no idea what I'm doing and just decided, you know, I'm gonna go for it. I don't even know if I'm gonna make a video out of this. I might just record this and trash all this footage. Like, I wasn't sure. So I just kind of let go of any expectations and went for it. And it, I, I have to admit, for being my first real illustration in a long time, it actually didn't turn out too bad, honestly. I haven't drawn in a very long time. And I mean drawn as in like getting the proportions down and the anatomy right and trying to make it look mostly realistic. Like I haven't done that in such a long time because it requires like so much focus and energy and like really paying attention to your art making that and I don't necessarily enjoy that kind of art making but now after doing this, I'm like, you know, I should really like do like at least one a week or something like real illustrations just to keep up on my skills and stuff. Like her hands are really weird now that I'm looking at it. I let myself get away with a lot. Like I, I reworked both of those hands like a lot, like a lot, a lot. And then finally was like, look, it's not great but it's not terrible. Like it's not like so bad that it's distracting, but if you really look at it, you're like, oh, honey, dear child, that is some bad hands. So, you know, like grand scheme of thing, I was gonna let myself get away with it. Um, I had real trouble shading the sweatshirt because it's such a big area and with marker, you wanna keep it like, you wanna keep the paper like moist. Oh, sorry, that's a word people don't like. You want to keep it like wet, you know, with the ink from the markers. And the problem is, is that such a big area that by the time I would get it back around to the beginning, it had already dried. And so I had to like work and rework and try and blend and, you know, like overlap marker over marker. And it was, it, I had, I struggled, I struggled with this, not even gonna lie. 
So, I don't know. It turned out okay. It took me the length of, like, two movies, I think, to get it totally inked, like, the line work done, and colored. That was when I was like, oh, I should see if my table's okay underneath it. And then I lifted it up and was like, oh, no. Because I had put so much marker on the paper that it was, it had, like, bl it bled through to the other side. But thankfully, my table was okay. Like, I think it's okay, at least. Um, the little drips on her socks are supposed to be honey. And I, after picking out this outfit for her, I was like, oh, man. Her name is Honey Bunny, and I think that's still really dumb, but I kind of like it, so she will be forever known as Honey Bunny. But, um, I tried shading, like, the honey to make it a little bit more di dimensional. I don't know how super successful that was. I could only shade the honeycomb, and I think the honey too, with two colors, because I just, I didn't have a third color that was not so dark that it was like startling and actually the two color tone I thought looked really good I do have to work on getting highlights more and I don't know if that's just like leaving some white at the paper or what like I still need a, a lot of practice with marker before I feel like I'm qualified to like help anybody else on it and um I like the design though. Her, like, I like her outfit. It's cute. So I thought about it for a really long time, like what color to do her hair. And it was about here that I realized like, oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. And I just want to apologize for the marker that's in the corner of the screen. It is atrocious. And I apologize. We left our markers like in this container and I don't want to say it exposed bloated but like it's like leaking and I have since like left it separate from all the other markers and it's still leaking so I finally decided like as much as it kills me I'm just gonna throw it away because I ended up with marker as you can tell all over my hand and I was so mad about it but this reminded me a lot of college and watercolor painting because you got to keep the paper like wet kind of like with watercolors and with watercolor you really want to keep the paper moist and so in college I'd paint like a madman because I would have one hand with a paintbrush that just had water on it and then one hand that had the actual paint on it. And I remember thinking that I looked like such like a, a maniac at the easel um, painting with two paintbrushes ambidextrously. So um, tell me if you like the picture. And, you know, comment below if you like it, if you want to see more of me doing, like, real illustrations, um, just let me know. I kind of make whatever you guys think I should make. Just comment and tell me. So, see you guys next time!